Hello my creative friends. I have a quick little tip for you today. I made these um, get well cards. I made them to send to my dad and to my uncle. Finding a masculine get well card can be very difficult. So I am so glad that I have learned how to make cards so that I can make these cards for the men in my life. Um, today my quick tip is to get the ribbon in through this button. So let me just point out the card a little bit to you. I um, stamped off and stamped in crumb cake with, I think this is Clockworks. Yeah, this is called Clockworks. So I did that with Clockworks and then this is perfectly pinned, the Get Well. And I just layered that onto Midnight Muse, Midnight Muse Ink. This is crumb cake card base and it's a four, I believe it's a four and a quarter square. Um, this is just a, a one inch, I'm not real sure on the measurements, so don't hold me to them, but I think this is one inch crumb cake, and then this is from the Comfort Cafe, it's the Midnight Muse paper in the Comfort Cafe, and I just made that, um, I believe a quarter or half inch bigger, and then I wrapped the ribbon, this is the Midnight Muse stitch ribbon, and I wrapped that around, and it's popped up on dimensional popped up on dimensionals. You might have heard my heater just go on in the background. It's kind of cold out here in the room. Um, and then this is the bronze, let's see, brushed bronze button. And the holes on it are fairly large. Yeah, you can see through there. But still, getting this through, I didn't think it, and even if I did, I didn't think it would look correct quite right. Um, but because they're so large, the linen thread doesn't look um, right in there either unless you use several layers. So what I did was I just took a piece, and this is longer than it even needs to be, so I'm just going to take a small piece here and show you. And I'm just going to cut strips. And the lines here, the white lines, make it really easy to just cut, just kind of cut on those lines. And I wanted it to fray a little, so it's good that it does that on its own. I think it just adds to that look, and it helps it. Because it's a masculine card, you don't really want it to be too girly or frilly, so I think the fraying looks good. So you get the idea. You just cut between them or on them and you just cut all the way down like I did here. And then what I did was I wound it through two at a time and, and go from the back side. You can see it's already starting to fray. Maybe you can't, but it is already starting to fray. And I just did on a diagonal. You'll probably want it to be a little bit longer than that. And then I tied it off. And then I wound the other one through the other holes and tied that off. And just, just in a double knot, and you end up with this. And then once I had it tied, I just kind of used my fingernail and I frayed it even more than it already was. So hopefully this is a new tip for you. Hopefully you learned something today and you'll be able to use this in your own cards. It doesn't just have to be for masculine cards. These just want these just happen to be masculine cards. So I hope you find some time today to get a little bit creative. Thank you for joining me. Bye.